Hey everyone, it's Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. A couple of days ago in class, I noticed that one of my uh, students was pretty gassed. <laughs> hard, hard to miss, right? Just kind of slumped over, hands on the knees, like, wow. And he started saying that, wow, I'm just really out of shape right now. I'm just out of it. And um, you know, I'm just not doing as well as I would like. Which is understandable, right? I mean, I've been there many times. <laughs> Sometimes to the point of, of throwing up, right? But I mean, it, it, it happens too. Um, but um, I, I I pulled them aside um, after he, he said that and I said, you know what? This is one of the things that it's very difficult for me to help you with. Right, because I can help you with you know with kind of the three aspects of working out and the class that that we do there. Said so, you know I can help you out with the physical aspect, right? Because I'm going to work you, <laughs> right? Number of kicks, the types of things we do, you know, there's it's it's pretty easy to do that, right? For for me, mental kind of help you out with a little bit. Uh, because, you know, maybe I say, okay, do this combo or do this technique or whatever, and you got to think about it a little bit. And, uh, you know, uh, especially if it's such that you're working with a a partner, then you can kind of engage each other uh, mentally. Like, okay, well, if they do this, then I'll do that. Or what is my plan next? How am I going to get in on this, uh, on, on my training partner, right? But then there's the third aspect, which is the emotional piece, Right. That's when you get to the point where, you know, my 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 uh, student was at where I, you know, I just can't take any more or whatever. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm out of it. Yada, yada. Right. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it happens to the best of us. Right. But, um, you know, it, it's just a matter now of, OK, well, if that's the what, then there's the so what. Well, what are you going to do about it? Right. Is it such that you're just going to continue saying those things to yourself through the rest of the the workout even the rest of your day even the rest of your week right i'm just out of it right it's it's not it's not clicking for me or are you going to do something else so i took them right then and there through kind of a thought journey if you will i'll just kind of take you through it right now and this is something that was uh, was presented to me a, wa- a long time ago, and it really stuck out as something that was powerful for me, right? So imagine this, you find yourself, and you know, as, as I'm talking through, you can kind of close your eyes if it'll help you kind of get through it uh, a little bit better. Um, definitely, if you're driving, don't do it, you know, wait until you're somewhere safe. But um, I said, you know, close your eyes and Imagine yourself now in front, uh, you know, on the shoulder of a busy street, could be a freeway, could be highway, right around, not quite rush hour, but it's starting to get there. The traffic's starting to pick up. There's more cars on the road and they're starting to get a little bit faster, you know, um, faster paced. And you see me on the other side of that uh, road. Now for them, I told them, you know, just think about the, the freeway that we have out here. It's six lanes, three lanes, both, you know, uh, in each direction. So it's six lanes in addition to the, uh, the median and all across that way, you see me and you kind of squint and you see me holding up a piece of paper, right? And you're still feeling the tra- uh, traffic going by you from left to right you know, seeing into the distance on the other side, right to left. And you can feel kind of the wake of the traffic going by, you know, as they speed by, you know, you feel the wind on you as the wake of their speed comes by. But you squint over and you see me holding that piece of paper and you n- notice that it's it's actually money. It's a little bit green there. And you see that it's a $20 bill and I'm just waving it to you saying, hey, this $20 is yours. You just have to come and get it, right? Now, I ask the question, raise your hand, and their eyes are still closed, raise your hand if you would be willing now to get that $20 bill. Nobody raised their hand, right? (laughs) So I said, okay, well, let's change it up a little bit. How about um, 
you know, close your eyes, make sure, you know, still keep your eyes closed, and you find yourself again, the exact same spot on the exact same road or highway or freeway, and the traffic is going fast, and you're feeling the, the, the wind going past, uh, past you as the cars go by same same kind of thing but instead of me across the way on the opposite shoulder now it's somebody different now it's somebody that is more familiar to you somebody that you recognize someone that you care about right and um you might ask yourself well i care about this person but is there somebody else that I care even more about, right, than the, per- the first person I thought of. And you might have somebody, you might not. Um, and you can ask yourself again, well, is there somebody else that if I pictured them there, that's, that would be somebody I care even more about than the first two? And I don't know if you have somebody in, in mind or not as you're thinking about this with your eyes closed. But now you imagine that person as you're looking across the, the road to them, still feeling the traffic speeding by next to you and next to them on, on their side, that this person is not standing holding a $20 bill. In fact, this person is now on their side, on the shoulder. And you see they're moving a little bit, but they're not able to move very much. And even with all of the traffic, because you're really invested in this person, like, wow, what's going on with this person? Even through all the traffic and the noise, you can hear just slightly they're groaning. They're making sounds like they're in pain. And in fact, once in a while, you could swear that they are calling your name. Now, in that case what would you be willing to do? Would you be willing to make that dash across that road, across that highway, across that freeway? And when I asked my uh, class that question and, you know, to raise their hand if they would, everybody raised their hand, right? Right. I mean, I said, hey, open your eyes, take a look around and see who raised their hand. Everybody did. Um, and I, I told them, said, this is, for me, it was a powerful example of our minds and what we are capable of, right? So back to uh, my student earlier who said that, you know, oh, gosh, I'm just wiped. I'm just out of it, right? He had that mindset. He had that that track going on in his head, you know, particularly, you know, when he was doing the exercises, I see him slowing down, right? In this exercise, he's actually holding the pads for me, a big pad, and I was just beating on it. <laughs> and we actually had to stop a good um, minute and a half through the two minute uh, drill. Um, he had to stop and I just kept on shadow boxing, right? Uh, but, you know, that was his mindset at, at the time. That was his focus at the time is that he, I'm just, I'm just out of it, you know, for one reason or another, I'm tired. Um, but that was his track that he was playing in his mind. Now, I, in this exercise, I just directed the thoughts through asking questions, right? Well, what if this? Imagine this. Would you be willing to do this? Could you notice that this person is feeling, uh, you know, looking and feeling this certain way across the street from you? And as they're able to get more focus and more of their emotions engaged in, into it because of the questions that I'm asking or the scenarios that I'm painting – then they have a different emotion that comes up, right? Whereas before with the $20 bill, the emotion was like, no, <laughs> there's no way. Now, this is exact, you know, very similar scenario, but the focus is different, right? Now, all that is, all those scenarios are fake, right? They, they weren't real at all, but they could feel those emotions welling up inside them. Very different, Right. So th- my lesson to them was that, hey, listen, you know what, it may be such that I'm, I'm not asking you uh, to think about these um, every time you get, you get burnt, but you could ask yourself the questions. You could paint the scenario for yourself where, okay, well, what would it have to be? What would my thoughts have to be? What would I have to be focused on in order for me to 
instead of thinking that I am spent or I am out of it, that I am motivated, I am compelled, I have to do this. Now, it could be such that you focus on yourself. Some people will do that. I'll, when I'm tired, I mean, it's enough for me to change my focus from I'm tired to like, you can do this. Come on, you can do this. This is something that I've tried to ingrain in my uh, my uh, girls, you know, ever since they were uh, ready to to hear me, <laughs> right? To listen. We There's a, a big hill um, on the the road that we walk on sometimes, and it's it's massive. It's already bad enough for me. It's it's tough enough for me, but it's definitely tough enough for you know little girls to to go up. And I would just tell them, you know, they, you know, they, I hear them start breathing hard. They're like, oh, it's hard. It's hard. I'm tired. And I just say, you can do it. You can do it. Say it. I want to hear it. Say, you can do it. And they just say, I can do it. I can do it. And I say, you're doing it. I say, I'm doing it. And then, you know, that kind of just helps them and me get to that top of that hill. Right. But that's something that you can do for yourself. It's like, you know, it's enough sometimes to just talk to yourself about it. Give, put yourself in the mindset of, okay, what is the talk track that you're saying? And for me, I change it from I'm tired to you got this, you got this. Or sometimes I just get on myself. I'm like, come on, man, come on, you can do this. Come on, come on, right? And not in a way that it's beating myself up, but it's like just kind of coaching myself in, in that way. Now, there are times that that's not even enough for me. There are times that, you know, me holding up a $20 bill for myself is not enough. So I got to think of somebody else. I got to think of doing this work for somebody that I care about, that by me doing what I have to do right now, it's going to help that person. It's going to metaphorically get them the help that they need off, you know, get them off that shoulder, get them to safety, get the paramedics or whomever can help them to them so that they are whole again. They are the person that I, uh, I imagine them to be not hurting, not in pain, not suffering, but you know, the, the, the person that, um, I want them and I see them as right. So, um, that's it folks. I hope that was helpful to you. I mean, again, I, this is not something that I do with everybody. It's not, it's, I, because it could be such that, this is a very powerful exercise. It can be if they if they take it and they really run with it. I did this once with my wife, and um, she started crying <laughs> afterwards. Um, so you know, be very careful about you know doing this, whether it's for yourself or somebody else. But again, it's it's something where it it might be useful for you as just an exercise to remind yourself of the power of your focus, the power of your mind, and again. Even if it's imagined, it doesn't take away from the power of it. So we can imagine uh, the worst things happening. We can imagine the best things happening again. But either way, it's, it's all in our imagination. And you bring it back to how can that affect what you're doing in this moment right now? That's it, folks. Again, uh, this is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. Talk to you next time. <laughs>